Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at the updated desktop environment for Linux, GNOME 47. Let me tell you right away that I had to shoot the video in 29 by 9 format because of some problems with the beta version of Fedora. Also, it's my first video with English voiceover, so it can be not the best quality. Well, let's start with the most discussed new feature, accent colors. This is a pretty standard feature and nothing new, but still many people have been waiting for it. And finally it has been added. By default we're given an opportunity to choose from 9 colors. Moreover, you can't choose your own color yet. Most likely it's done so because of some colors will look ugly, but still I would like to see this feature in the future. Large, beautiful, although not changing the functionality, are the new dialog boxes throughout the system. Now they look more modern. The third major change in this version is a new window for opening saving files. The standard files application is now used for this, which adds a lot of needed functionality and makes the look of this window more modern. However, for some reason I only have this feature in some flatpak applications, but most of you should have it everywhere. Let's move on to less noticeable and large-scale updates. One of such updates affected owners of small monitors. Now some icons will be much larger, for example in the dock, because before they were too small. Now let's see what's new in the Nautilus file manager, files. First, interacting with files on other computers is now done through a separate new network tab. Previously it was in other locations. Second, standard folders such as pictures, documents, etc. are now in the bookmarks section and can now be removed from the sidebar altogether if you want. And third, physical internal disks are now displayed in the sidebar as well. This is what was really missing before in my opinion. Before we look at the changes in the settings, let's take a quick look at some changes that almost no one is talking about. First of all, the lock screen has been updated with new clock font, now it is much bolder and the time is much better visible, especially from afar, and it looks more modern to me. Also, many applications now have new Libadwaita animations that also look more modern. There are some small changes in the settings. For example, you can now make it so that when you hover your cursor over a window, it becomes active. And also, the ability to preview the input source in the keyboard settings was added. These were not all the changes in GNOME 47, but I think they are the main and notable ones. In addition, many standard applications such as Maps, Disk Usage Analyzer, Calendar, GNOME Web Browser, etc. have been updated. Integration with Microsoft 365 has been improved. The application recommendation system in the software app has been changed. Fractional scaling has been improved. Also, it is now enabled by default in many distributions. Performance has been improved and much more. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck!